HAL, short for Hybrid Assistive Limb, is the world's first advanced robotic treatment device shown to improve a patient's ability to walk. Now, HAL has been used in Japan, Germany, and other countries, and it is now available for the first time ever in the United States. To tell us more is Dr. Geneva Chinuzzi and Maverick, a patient who is using HAL. Thank you both so much for being with us. Thank you for Thank having us. us. Doctor, can we actually start with uh, the kind of the science behind HAL and how exciting uh, this is to have it here in the U.S.? Absolutely. So as you mentioned, we are very excited to, to have this new technology here with us at Brooks Rehabilitation. A medical HAL or hybrid assistive limb is the first advanced robotic treatment that has actually already shown to improve a person's ability to walk after they have a spinal cord injury. It's a robotic exoskeleton. It's applied to a person's trunk and their lower limbs and is, uses neurologic signals to perceive a person's intended movements. So as far as the science, there are sensors that are placed on the skin on a person's lower extremities. Those signals are able to perceive residual signals that are getting through from the brain to the spinal cord to the legs. And those signals can then um, be perceived by the exoskeleton to perform a person's intended movements, improve their mobility, and ultimately our, our end goal is obviously to improve a person's ability to walk. Well, and Maverick, as we were just seeing, uh, you have been using how, what does it feel like uh, to have this advancement available to you? Um, it's great. I mean, I've been researching for two and a half years since my accident, and I found out about it a while back, and for it to finally be here, I mean, it's just, it, it gives you hope again to one day be able to walk on my own. And I know we're saying that this is, uh, you know, in assistance for standing, walking, uh, things of that sort. What, what does it feel like when you're actually doing that with how? I mean, the closest thing back to normal walking independently on my own that I felt since my injury, everything else that I've used is very, it's, it's not a normal pattern of walking or anything like that. With how, I mean, it's, I'm actually controlling my steps. And this is very, uh, like you said, uh, hopeful for you. And I know there at the center, doctor, there's uh, very treatments available for uh, injuries. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, absolutely. So at this time, HAL has been um, FDA cleared for persons who have spinal cord injury. Um, we have it available to persons who have tetraplegia or injured at the neck. Um, for persons who have injuries below the neck or paraplegia, um, one of the big requirements for HAL is that there is some residual signal getting through from the brain down to the lower extremities. But beyond that, the HAL can take over and ultimately just generate more and more recovery so that a person no longer has to use that device. Well, and I know there's so much more uh, to know and to learn, and I'm sure a lot of other people are very interested. Is there somewhere we can go online to look up more information? Well, I'm really glad you asked. Our website is www.brookscyberdyne.org, and we just strongly encourage anybody with a spinal cord injury, um, anyone who has a loved one with a spinal cord injury, or just those who are really interested in learning about this fascinating new technology, please come check out our website. We'd, we'd love to have you here with us at Brooks. Well, doctor, thank you so much for telling us about this. And Maverick, thank you so much for sharing uh, your personal experience with Hal as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. We'll be right back.